Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a new Catalyst program. The name is called Glaucus Precision on Data. The champion for this is one of the largest operators in the world, China Telecom. And they have their partners, which includes Huawei, EZTE, Asia Info, and Boca Intertelecom. Now, China Telecom brought us all together because they had a massive challenge. And to tell us a bit more about this, here is China Telecom. In China Telecom, we have some problems. Our, our, our customer had some complaints, and, but our network is good. There's low alarms. Our late work is so complex to locate the problems. So we want to use AI technology to locate and solve it and predict. Okay. And as you just heard from China Telecom, their problem, let me tell you this, this is exactly what Gartner also said. Gartner actually said that 75% of network issues are found by operators when people complain that there is a problem. And 90% of the, of the O&M personnel are used to locate the fault. This is very high cost for both people and also for the time. And so, with this Catalyst program, we had very clear roles and responsibility. Huawei, working closely with China Telecom, we were responsible for getting the data ready. So this means get the right data, process the data, make the data more effective. Once that is done, then EZTE, together with their partner Asia Info, will do an analysis to find the abnormal cells. Once that is done, finally, Huawei, together with Boca Intertelecom, does something called traffic prediction. So this is how the roles and responsibilities were. And for a few months, we all worked at it. It was never easy. We made mistakes. We learned from it. And the key thing in here is that I want to share with you is that four key technology innovations came out of it. Number one, OMC consistency. Because it's a multi-vendor network, we got Huawei there, Ericsson there, EZTE there. We made the OMC consistent. EZTE, when they did the anomaly diagnosis accuracy, they, they reached a level of 89% accuracy in their evaluation. And for short-term and for long-term prediction of the traffic, we, we reached almost 97%. With this technology innovation, what was the impact for China Telecom? When you look at the impact, there was technical impact and business impact. But let's look at the business values here. The network complaints for China Telecom decreased by 12%. Isn't that wonderful? The mean time to resolve problem went down by 80%, and the knock efficiency went up by 20%. This was the key values that China Telecom saw. At the same time, they also saw what I call secondary things in there. For example, knowing that precision of the traffic, they could reduce the power usage by 5%, and they were able to reduce their OPEX and do smart KPEX in here. Having achieved all this, I just want to talk to you about the key learning and the critical success factors. One, and the first one, which is the most important one, your data quality must be right. If your quality is bad, garbage in, you get garbage out. And that is fundamental. The second one is labeling automation. When it comes to machine learning, everything we do has got to be labeled. Human beings need to label it. So we had to do over 2,000 different labeling. We found a script to automate that. We took people out of it. That means that there is less errors, and people can do it better. Sorry, machine can do it better. The other one we talked about already, the prediction accuracy. 97% 97 accu accuracy for traffic prediction is the highest we have seen anywhere in the world. The OMC standardization between all the vendors played a critical role. And the last two is interesting. One is we reuse the TM Forum assets. TM Forum has so many assets in there. ODAs, a whole range of things in their website. Use them. It's there. It's wonderful. We don't use enough of this. And lastly, using this thing in here, China Telecom is now have launched 5G, and they would love to use this thing on the 5G to optimize their 5G as well. So I just want to say thank you very much for listening. And just to summarize, China Telecom had a problem. We all got together. We worked on it. We resolved it. We fixed it using network data and AI. And now we are ready to move to phase two.